how to fit a kitchen plinth, pelmet and cornice. A crucial part of assembling a kitchen is attaching the plinth under the cabinets, the pelmet under the wall cabinets and the cornice above them. The plinth will stop rubbish and debris collecting under your cabinets and all three together will complete the look of your kitchen. For more information on how to construct a cabinet, see our film, How to Build a Kitchen Cabinet. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Plinths are typically supplied in standard lengths, so may require cutting to fit your kitchen. Place the correctly cut plinth in front of the cabinet feet and mark the centre point of the feet on the board. You don't need to do clips for every leg, just enough to give adequate support to the plinth. Then screw the bracket centrally to the mark and roughly halfway up the plinth, then slide in the clip. Finally, clip the plinth onto the legs. Your new plinth is now complete. You may need to cut your pelmet to size, so measure the area you need your pelmet to fit, then cut to the correct length. To ensure a neat join at the corners, you should cut the end at exactly 45 degrees. The easiest way to do this is with a mitre block. Rest the pelmet in the channel and use the guides to cut across it on your mark at the required angle. Screw joining blocks to the top inside edges of the pelmet. Position the pelmet flush with the edge of the unit and screw the joining blocks to the underside. Apply mitre bond to the mitered end. Butt the next piece of pelmet against the first and press. Screw the joining blocks into the unit. Repeat for all pelmets. Corniceing is fitted in much the same way as pelmets. Measure and cut the cornice to the correct length using a mitre block for the corners. Remember to apply mitre bond to the mitered end each time to butt the next section into place. Screw into position on top of the unit. You may not need to use joining blocks as the screws won't be visible from ground level. Butt the next piece on and screw down. And that's it. You're ready to enjoy your new kitchen. Here is the list of the tools you'll need to build your kitchen plinth. And here's the materials you will use. And this is the safety equipment.